Industrial software is easier to handle nowadays. Generating 3D models of a factory or a city, which once took days of heavy calculations, is now possible with just a few clicks on a desktop computer. This is the new world of reality modeling. Defined as the process of capturing the physical world in 3D, it's intended to facilitate inspection tasks. This revolution is transforming how engineers work, be it in design, infrastructure, or construction. Bentley Systems is a major player. We were invited to attend their Year in Infrastructure conference in Singapore last October. They used the occasion to promote their context capture software. This chemical plant has been entirely retrofitted based on a model made using simple photos. All these red dots are where the pictures were taken, either by the drone or by the handheld camera. This is uh, displayed on just a regular web browser, and you can zoom in and out. And as you can see, the resolution is still very good. So if you're doing an inspection of the plant and you want to see um, you know, a pump or something, you click on that picture and the picture will show up so you could see and examine yourself. To acquire a good photo, you have to have a 75% overlay to make sure that, that you have enough stitching so that the software could take it and match it up and create the 3D model. You don't need any special skills beyond being able to take good photos. The software does all the math. Even complex urban engineering is modelable. So this is bringing the whole city here, right? So you can walk through here. Say, for example, I want to measure the distance between this road in and this place. And I get the distance measured out here. It's complete 3D model and I can switch on my wire mesh model. So this is what today's engineers need. 3D modeling is an alternative to laser scanning and point clouds. Its real advantage is that it produces a compact file called reality mesh. The advantage of a, uh, a reality mesh of the same scene that you would take with point clouds is that it's a tenth the size or smaller. So it's much lighter, much easier to use and work with. And on top of that, it also includes a, a photo texture. So it's not just a, a gray, smooth surface. It actually has the real world photos uh, built into the mesh itself. So it's more visually interpretable. And models can be brought to life. Luminar T, another Bentley tool, enables you to immerse yourself in a 3D model using a headset to improve inspections. Here's an example on an oil rig. And now I'm inside the model. And once I'm in here, I can look around. I can see various things. I can move in and out. I'm going down the rig. You can see uh, what the layer it's on. If I move in there, what the layer, what the name of the object is, and what layer it's on. OK, so it, it's very realistic when you're here. Bentley is already working on the next step adding artificial intelligence to the software. Let's just say uh, we're looking at a crack in a wall, right? Um, you have to show or teach or train that computer that this image here or this, this model, this particular section of the model is a crack. Eventually, it will pick that up and automatically do it on its own. And it will tell you during a uh, inspection of say a plant or a bridge and the computer will automatically know there's a crack, it is this deep, and so an engineer can determine what to do with that information afterwards. Such modeling software soon may find a home in other projects. For example, it can be used to capture a cultural heritage site and even a crime scene.